And now, part two of two of our Sam One mech design. The next segment of our mech design is the top turret assembly, which forms the shoulders, rockets, and anti-aircraft laser above the cockpit. The missiles will pull aside and build in a moment. We'll start with the 2x4s, two, two of those 2x4 bricks, and a 2x3 brick will go on top of those. On top of all that, we'll put the 3x6x2 two and 2 thirds cylinder. Next, we're going to grab a 2x2 two two brick and a 1x2 angled brick will go on the back. And then a 2x3 plate will go on top of all that. Next, we're going to assemble 2x1 plates. We actually put on two here to make sure, but make sure you only put on one here because we'll have to remove one of those later and we'll show you that. And then underneath the 1x2 plate is the 1x2 angled brick. So we're going to set aside the cylinder part. Next, we'll grab the 2x4 plate and the 2x3 plate. Put the 2x3 on top of the 2x4 with the one part hanging over, and the accent slatted piece goes on the end. And then these 2x4, sorry, the 4x3 cutout wedges will actually need to go on the underside of the 2x4 plate here in a moment. And on the ends, you'll have the missiles and a 1x2 with a handle underneath the missile. We're going to add, grab another 1x2 with a handle and put the... And here's where the 4x3 cutout wedge, we need to move that under the base plate. And the 1x2 on, with the handle will go on top of the 1x4 base plate. And we'll, see, we'll do another 1x2 with the handle with the armor plating. Those will go on the top. And the laser housing will go on one side of the plate. And the flat 2x2 two two will go on the other side. We'll grab this piece here and put it in the raid laser tip. And the cylinder goes into the ball. And that's where we'll put the laser weapon. So all this assembly goes on top of the cylinder. And we should have a little bit of hangover to get this properly installed. Next we'll work on the missiles. It's identical to the ones we have pre-built here, so we're going to show you how those will go together. And then to complete the other side, you'll just need to flip the 1x2 with the, with the clip parts. So we're going to clip these together like so. And then put the cylinder on the back, and the missile end underneath that. And then a cone goes for the tip. So then for our other missile, Make sure the 1x2 is where we have the clip part. Or sorry, well, the 1x1. One one. And the other rocket is actually sim is very similar, but we'll need an additional cone on the front end because our, um, our part is not inserted as far into one of the cones, so it's the way the design's built. And to make the design work for the other side, you'll just need to switch around the way that the 1x2 plate with the hook is facing. So let's pull our armor plates up and attach the missiles on the 1x2 plates. And then pull the armor plating over that. And we'll do the same on the other side. And so now our top turret is complete. And now we've come to the cockpit section. We're going to start with this 1x2 brick with a pattern. And this is a cockpit from the 1998 Hydronaut series. Uh, this cockpit works really great for our design, so see if you can't find one if you don't already have it. And we've got some control handles in that cockpit. And this is a sloped brick 
with a 1x2 plate on the nose. And then a 4x6 plate will go on top of the rest of the angle plate. And we'll need a 1x6 and a 1x4. Attach the 1x4 in the middle. And this is a 1x4 brick with the side holes. And a 1x2 plate. And then a 1x2 brick with the side holes. And then on the top, we're going to place some running lights on the front of the open holes. And this is the bubble canopy. Six studs in length, or two inches. We're going to attach the hinge to the top. It's going to hook to the front of the four uh, open holes on the front, the one by four. We're going to set that aside and grab a two by four brick, two of those, and just put them on top of each other. And on the underside, we'll need a one by four plate. And we'll attach that to the back of our previous built plate we built. And then the cockpit goes in front of that. And the one by six plate will go on the top of the cockpit and we'll hang over it like so. So we're done with the cockpit and we'll set that down. And now we're going to put all six of our components together. And this is where we got to make the one correction to the one by two plate. We got to remove one of those from the back of the top turret section. And then place our angled brick and one by two plate back on. And leave that difference in level. So we're going to grab the engine block on, on each side. <clears throat> we're going to place um, our weapons. Let's go ahead and pull the hoses off for now. So we're going to attach the weapons to the plates sticking on each side of the engine block. And on top of the engine block is where, and on top of the arms, is where we'll attach the top turret. The hoses can go into our Technic driving ring extension. And those will both attach to the back of the engine block. And they'll be feeding the quad, quad cannons. Next we'll take the cockpit and attach that. Basically it hooks to the front end of the thing there. We put the legs on the bottom of the cockpit and just make sure that the turntable attaches to each one of the three different plates on the bottom to help secure it.